Well, hello and good morning. Today we are going to make a lovely vegetable omelet with Grunway cheese from Switzerland. We have our asparagus, chopped tomatoes, shiitake mushrooms, and broccoli. As you can see, there are five eggs. I'm not gonna use five eggs. I'm gonna use five egg whites. I'm gonna save the centers and make Chinese egg custard later. I don't know if I'm gonna shoot that for video. It's kind of simple, but either way, it's good eating. So let's get to cooking. First, in my stainless steel pan, I'm going to put it on about medium heat and add a couple tablespoons of olive oil just so I can warm up the vegetables a little bit. Okay, the oil is up to temperature and the first thing I'm gonna do is add Camera down! Camera down! Oh my god! All right, I'm gonna add the asparagus and the broccoli. And a little later, I'm going to add the tomato and mushroom. But before I do that, I am going to separate the egg from the yolk. Here's the egg. Now, I think I showed this before, but instead of going from hand to hand, <clears throat> from shell to shell, it's easier to not break the yolk if you go and put it in your hand rather than try to transfer it from the shell. There's no sharp edges in your hand. So I like egg custard. Since I haven't been to Hong Kong, I decided to try to do it myself. When I'm gonna make the egg custard, I'm gonna be using Splenda instead of uh, sugar and evaporated milk instead of condensed milk. So it shouldn't be a high calorie dessert. Just uses a lot of eggs. Okay, so we're bringing out the color and the broccoli and the asparagus. Now it's time to add the shiitake mushrooms and the tomatoes. And we'll give that a go for a couple of minutes. In the meantime, oh no, I forgot the butter. No, David, you didn't forget the butter. It's right here. Kerry Gold. So we're going to, in the La Crusade frying pan, heat up about a tablespoon of Kerry Gold butter. And we're just gonna let that melt down to coat the pan. Okay, the veggies are just about done. Look at all that beautiful color. 
So I'm going to get another bowl. And just set this off to the side. <clears throat> watching butter melt is a little faster than watching paint dry, but not by much. Okay, the butter is now completely melted. I'm going to take the egg whites. In, <clears throat> I did beat them a little bit just to get the two egg white parts to combine. Don't ask me what their names are, because I don't remember. And now I'm going to cover it. Okay, so the egg is set. I'm going to put some of the veggies right in there. This size bowl gives me a really small omelet in comparison. So I'm not going to overstuff it. But now let's get to putting some cheese on this bad boy. Grinding, grinding, grinding. Keep this cheese a grinding raw. Ah, some nice, real Swiss cheese. Not like the American Swiss cheese. I think that's about as far as she's gonna go. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, we got a cheese catastrophe. Cheese is everywhere. Oh my God. That's horrible. Let's get her out. Waste not, want not. And now we will look for our lovely spatula. I lost my big spatula in the... Omelette Wars last week. And we are going to try to flip this one today. So I'm going to let that cook. Retain some extra heat. And we'll see where we are in a minute. Okay, let's look. Wow, she's firmed up a lot. Let's see if we can give her a quick flip. Wow, look at how beautiful that is. Look at all the lovely colors coming through. Ain't she a beauty? We're just going to give her a couple of seconds on this side. Move the plate into place. Now she does, I just gotta zoom in on this a little bit. She does look pretty, doesn't she? So that's just cheese and some veggies. As you might have gathered prior Life, I used to love my peppers, but at this point in my life, my peppers don't love me anymore. So, 
They're out of my life. And there you have it. A very simple, horribly videoed, but quite delicious. Vegetable omelet with Grenier cheese. I know what I'm eating for breakfast. Hope you're having a good one.